at luxury ticket Ponzi scheme. A man from the East Bay allegedly stole $39 million promising luxury tickets and suites. Now, Betty Yu spoke to the son of one of the victims who says that the suspect knew their family for 30 years. More than 100 victims are tied up in this $39 million Ponzi scheme, according to federal prosecutors. And many of them are from San Francisco's Chinatown. In many cases, they're seniors who don't speak English. This is the man federal prosecutors say ran a $39 million Ponzi scheme and spent at least $7 million of it to fund his own lavish lifestyle. 41-year-old Derek Chiu of Alamo is accused of conning victims to invest in a fake scheme buying and reselling tickets and luxury suites at Oracle Arena, Staples Center and Chase Center between 2013 and 2020. Kingsley, as he prefers to be called, spoke to me on behalf of his mom, a San Francisco resident who's out more than three and a half million dollars. My mom had to go through all that. She didn't speak English. She had to go through all that while living in shame, being embarrassed. But today, what, uh, with everything that has transpired, she has really realize that it isn't about the money anymore, right? It's about getting these guys here, and it's really not our time to be scared. It should, they should be scared now. Kingsley and the family's attorney, Jane Marie Mack, filed lawsuits against Derek and his father, Felix Chu, a longtime family friend and well-known life insurance agent who's since retired. Start off as, hey, you know, um, if you could give me some money, uh, I could give you some interest, right? 11%, 18%, sounds really good. So um, in the beginning it started, um, the, the amounts were like, okay, in the thousands, and it was all right. And uh, Felix would pay it. It's pretty consistent, and he's kind of building his credit. And then after that, um, it started climbing up to tens of thousands. But then Kingsley said the interest payments slowed and then stopped coming. And that money was diverted for Derek's personal benefit. A significant amount of these funds went towards paying his own personal credit card bills, towards luxury cars such as Porsches, um, jewelry, um, designer sneakers and handbags, while these victims gave them their entire retirement funds. Jane Marie represents about a dozen victims and filed an initial police report in 2019 when SFPD began investigating. These are like mom and pops, um, you know, the former victim, his mom was a garment worker. The other victims, they um, the restaurant workers. We've had um, victims that were extremely suicidal, uh, which we fortunately have been able to work through. We've had another victim who had a heart attack and has subsequently passed, which we believe is related to this. She shared typical promissory notes signed by Felix and Derek Chu. It was built on trust. It was based on relationships of 30 years, um, people that they considered like uncles or second fathers. Um, the promissory notes are so generic, it's basically equivalent to a handshake. Derek has been charged with wire fraud and money laundering. Prosecutors are urging other victims to come forward. If your parents are immigrants here, chances are they don't know a whole lot. Hard work is all they know, and they accumulate this wealth. And if you, if you see that they know somebody that they really, really trust that's outside the family and you don't seem to be in the loop, that's probably a red flag. The suspect's next court appearance is scheduled for May 10th. He's facing a maximum of 20 years in prison for multiple counts if he is convicted.